Yo, welcome back to Da TV. I am Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right? I need you to hit the subscribe button. Then I need you to turn on that bell. Then I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag Da Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up for me? You already know. Now we get down, baby. We be live. Welcome back. back. Hey, back. back. Hey. Woo! All right, you guys. Today, we are running errands and we are working. Let's go. Alright, cuzzles, what are we doing today? We have to go to the bank, okay? I have to open another um, business account. Um, today, we're going to be talking about positioning and repositioning ourselves for greatness, okay? That's what we're talking about today. Position. I all right, so what we're talking about today is position and repositioning ourselves for greatness, okay? Um, y'all know <clears throat> I did open up, you know, y'all know I'm transparent. So let me tell you what happens when you fall into depression, okay? You get to a point, you just don't care, all right? And where areas that you were disciplined in and all that and consistent and all that kind of goes out the window depending how deep you fall in. So with that being said, um with the depression i fell into hardship it has caused me to fall into hardship and i let my bank account my business bank account i end up letting it get closed and um i procrastinated on it because i still had the savings but now that we're getting back to greatness yeah so we need to go handle that so right now i'm on my way to the bank after the bank, I got to go to the lawyer. After the lawyer, I got to drive the van. And then we're going to come home. And we're going to clean and realign our atmosphere. Okay? Um, so that is what we are doing today. Um, so, yeah. But, baby, let me tell you. It is time that we, like my good friend says, we got to work the vision. We have to work the vision. So let's go ahead and get to the bank. Y'all with me all day so I can preach in and out to y'all all day. But y'all already know my channel is all about faith, family, and motivation. Period. So let's go baby. Alright y'all we're almost there. Um, Sorry I got distracted because my sister ended up calling me. And y'all. I was driving this far to come to work every morning like. I know I drive, you know, I'm an Uber driver, okay. But, you know, when you already driving for a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, you know, it's like, you know, whatever. But, y'all, I'm driving it, and I'm telling my sister, like, dang, I was driving this damn near every morning. But anyways, I digress. So, talking to my sister, you know, holding her accountable, holding each other accountable, I begin to ask her what is her, her um, some what is her goal for this week, and then she began to speak, and then while she's speaking, the Holy Spirit was like, "Look up the definition of routine, and look up the definition of goal. They're different." And the revelation that I got, I was like, "Holy Spirit, why are you asking me this? Why are you telling me to look this stuff up?" Because a lot of people mistake their routine for goals. What you do on a daily is a routine. Okay? How, what, what you, your morning routine, your afternoon routine, your night routine. Uh, you know, all that is just a sequence of, of series of what you're, what you're doing to get done. But it's not necessarily your goal. So, and I was saying that we need to aim for more results uh especially in this year 
okay uh, because like I said it's about positioning some of us got a position some of us got a reposition and we got to work the vision and we have to implement routines and we're gonna have to implement goals um, but even if you come away from even if you come away from the uh, from the routine a little bit it's okay it's okay but we have to put in a form of discipline we have to put in a form of consistency so that we can reach where it is that we need to reach so um, I'm actually getting ready to do um, for those of you that don't know and this is your first time tuning in um, I am a confidence coach uh, rebuilding your confidence mentally spiritually um, and emotionally uh, through an intense course for 21 days uh, it's an intense course for 21 days. It's four Zoom sessions um, and then two one-on-one -on -one sessions, okay? And um, so you can click the link in my bio if you want to check it out. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to do a 21 day on my own. Um, and I'm definitely going to take you guys on that journey with me. Uh, because it's it's so rewarding when you begin to pour back into yourself when you begin to truly build yourself up and uh and allow time for you and and being intentional about self baby you then now become what we call unstoppable okay um and even within those 21 days you really learn um where you had boundaries where you didn't have boundaries and then you were, uh, you're also able to see how people um friends family business uh job ministry everything you begin to really see how they were taking advantage of you um so with that being said um right now uh, what I did, um, I had to go over my finances. I went over my finances uh, the day, a couple of days ago. I went over my finances. Um, so I'm actually doing what we call a financial diet right now. So what do I mean by financial diet? <laughs> I done cut some things out um, so that I can get back to that place that I want to be financially. Um, where I was okay, so yeah, we had to cut some things out y'all We had to cut a few things back and we had to scale back just a smidget just a smidget, but um, Yeah Who you guys I am also nervous because the same bank I'm coming to I used to work at and I came back a few times after I came back a few times but I went through the drive-thru um, and I'm a little nervous cuz it's been two years it's been two years guys um, since I stepped foot in this particular branch but Y'all, I left all my masks in the dryer. Great. All right, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I do need to get my hair done. Jesus. So, we about to go in here. Remember our errands for today. We got to open up a new bank account uh, for the business. And then, um, <clears throat> then after that, we're going to go ahead and shoot over to the lawyer. So I'll be back. All right, y'all. We got that taken care of. Now we are on our way to the Avocat. Okay. Um, but listen. Life happens for some people, man. Never be ashamed of what you're going through. Never be ashamed of your obstacles, your tests, your trials, your valleys, your mountains. Do not be ashamed of them. Because it don't matter who you are. 
It don't matter where you're at. It don't matter your bracket. So you, everybody has a, a, a season. Sometimes you have a season of losses, and sometimes you have a season of victory, okay? But overall, you are victorious, and you have victory on every side, okay? Keep that in mind, because I'm tired of, let's normalize, and I wanna word this correctly, okay? Let's normalize, Like you go through it. Life happens. Let's normalize it. Let's stop making it seem as if the person is being punished. Um, every, that is not the case every time. Okay? You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. And sometimes the situation, life happens to build you. To build you. To make you stronger. Let's change the perspective of it. Stop making people shame. Stop making people feel a certain type of way because they're going through. Like that irks my nerves, cuzzos. That irks my nerves with a passion. But I digress. But let's go ahead uh, and get to the lawyer. y'all i am finally done with the avocado um i know y'all probably like what the heck is an avocado um for my non creole speaking people it is lawyer i am done with the lawyer um i just love people that don't beat around the bush that just come to you straight no chaser okay hi <laughs> thank you uh my camera i'm a youtuber art can I go on you? Hey guys. Can I you today? Oh, okay. What's your name? Cody. Hi, Cody. Actually, I didn't do my makeup and I look really tired and I've been crying all day. Why? My boyfriend broke up with me. I'm sorry, baby. I am begging him to let me. He um, owns. I'm. If you want YouTube, I'll get. Go ahead. Drop your handles. <laughs> my boyfriend broke up with me. You know, he's older than me. I got sugar. I'll show you. Her name isn't Sugar. I always call her Sugar, Aww. but her name is Coco. He has the other three. I've got four dogs. And um, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel because I feel like my life is like so interesting. Do it. Do it. Do it. He, broke, he owns a barber shop. Uh -huh. I'm a barber. Uh -huh. He's not budging. I need employment desperately. My neighbor, or not my neighbor, my roommate tried to stab me. He's in jail. He's getting out today. I heard it. I heard him because my room is like in the front. Oh, and I'm Lord. running out of clothes. That's why I don't look cute today. Oh, no, you look fabulous, she baby. She has um, coins. You have to use coins to get. Um, I always wanted one of those. Little, is that a go? No, this one is not the go. Um, the what you call it. Um, this is just a basic one. What is one. your YouTube channel based on? Uh, faith, family, and motivation. Um, I I'm actually doing my series. Oh, you did? Go um, ahead, baby. I know that's right. My, the Lord is my savior. Listen, baby. That's the only thing I'm counting on right now is my baby, Coco. And, and stay focused. And uh, it's hard Lord. right now. It's hard, but stay focused. You know what I do? What? I go walk by the boats and I just, because that's where I used to live is on a boat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it's going to be okay. Um, my mom doesn't stop. She's relentless. And I just don't <laughs> want to talk to her right now. Right. So I've been... That's why I look like I've been crying. You have Instagram? Yeah, I do. Okay, well tell them what's your Instagram? Coco So Flow. Coco, Coco so dot so flow. Are we live? Oh no, no, I'm not live today. Oh, I'm you're not recording. Live today. I'm recording. It's oh. gonna be up tonight. <laughs> y'all see, y'all see. Babe, babe. <laughs> I'm obsessed with. I have a couple. I'm a big Instagrammer. See, I don't do Facebook, uh -huh. but I do YouTube and I do. Um, uh, oh, that's your page. Yeah. Oh, you look this is talk show. This is my personal vlog. But you'll be up tonight. Oh, <laughs> then I better. Are we recording? Yes. Subscribe. Get to the beach. I will. All I'll right. Get on there and I'll look pretty the next time. Hi, guys. <laughs> look, Levi's and Levi's. Levi's are my favorite. Yes, I know that's right. But you yeah. have a good one. Okay? We're going to keep on winning because the Lord is good. Oh, y'all heard him. The Lord is good. Ooh. 
Jesus. Oh, that threw me in for a loop, guys. Uh, definitely, we gonna keep him lifted. Uh, keep him lifted. We was talking about um, people being straightforward and not beating around the bush. And homeboy was just that. <clears throat> So now, um, I have a whole hour. I am actually doing good on time today. Um, so now I'm probably gonna go to the Haitian patty store and get me some pate, some pate, and some juganadia. Okay, ooh. Let's get to the Haitian, let's get to the Haitian, let's get to the bakery. Let's go. All right, y'all, so. I made it um, to drive the van. Sorry. I made it, y'all. I'm getting ready to drive the van. And I just kind of want to share something with you guys. This is why I do what I do. And this is why I tell y'all that faith and motivation is what you're going to really find on this channel. Okay? I just had a conversation with somebody and it began to make me think how people treat you, how people talk to you shows how they feel and what they think concerning you, even in the questions that they ask you, okay? And to be honest, for a second, it discouraged me for a second. I, I kid you no lie, for a second, it kind of did discourage me because it's like, well, you know, like, dang, really? You know, wow. But then I was just like, you know what? I was like, you know what, God? I have to understand that the only vision I need to execute the only expectation I need to execute is yours because people will make you feel a type of way because you're not executing the vision that they have for you you didn't call me you didn't choose me you didn't anoint me you did not appoint me okay and it is a privilege it is privy to be uh, and it's an honor to know me but maybe I don't have to cross your yard to get into heaven and when my appointed time comes it will not be you to sit here and tell me good well done my faithful servant it won't be you it will be God and what you got to understand is when you walking out what God has a uh, place in you to carry out people ain't going to understand and the verse came to me where God says you do not know what I am doing at this moment you don't know what I'm doing at this moment but in due time you shall know in due time you shall know so if you yourself only have bits and pieces of 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 of, of the, your full destiny the next person don't know your full destiny and they dang sure ain't fun to see it so this is where you truly have to sit this is where you truly have to sit and trust God and carry out what God tell you to carry out. You move how God tell you to move. You execute how God tell you to execute, period. With that being said, y'all, it did make me feel some way. But I was just like, it ain't nothing but motivation. So, you may not know what God is doing in this time, but you shall know in due time. But I digress. So let's go ahead and get in here. All right, y'all. Um, I am done with the first route of the day. I'm getting ready to transition into the second route. All right, I'm on my way to go get my babies. Them kids be lit, y'all. They be, they be having me rolling, okay? Um. I am feeling better, y'all. I am feeling better. I had to shake that up off of me, like I said, but God is in control. 
I hope I'm at the right building. Yeah, God is in control. And we gonna continue to let him lead and guide us. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Um, but after we finish the second route, we gotta go to the store. Once we go to the store to pick up our groceries, then we're gonna go home, we're gonna clean up, and then we're going to debrief our day, God. Today was very calm and mellow. Uh, I actually got my best friend, Go Go, in my ears. Um, that's why I got on my headphones and he talking crap while I'm talking to y'all. He, he trying to throw me off. It ain't gonna work. Um, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and debrief, uh, for the day. Alright, and then tomorrow we're gonna have a fantastic day. And then I'm gonna let y'all know exactly when I'm gonna start the 21 days, uh, the 21 day the incubator that I do I like I said I'm gonna do it for myself so if you follow me on social media um, and you want to join me there is an investment fee there is an investment fee and you want to join me on the because uh, the course originally is a uh, four hundred forty four dollars but right now I'm running a special for two hundred and twenty two dollars um, and it comes with a whole shebang but if you want to do the quick course with me um this one wouldn't necessarily we would have two zooms two zooms uh instead of the four and you the one-on-one -on -one is not included that's separate but um yeah so if you want to join me let me know uh let it focus there we go so yeah and then we're going to talk about what that uh the 21 consists of and it will be on our way period it's a 21 day intense course and we finna get it how we get it but i love y'all let's go get my baby all right cousins i'm done with the van i'm back in genesis right but i gotta show y'all <laughs> you ever be going through hold on let me Right. you ever be going through and it just get to a point where you just have to laugh because it's like you know the enemy is trying to attack you in every way possible just to get you to move just to get you to ship <laughs> y'all really really a whole flat tire y'all a whole flat tire so now I got the C. Now I have to put air in it, see if I can hear where the air is coming out, and plug it. So I'll be back. All right. So picked up baby girl from grandma house. Hey, say hello. Hi. Um, I have a nail in my tire, guys. A nail. So I'll be able to make it home, but. It's either I'm going to have to put air in it again in the morning or I'm going to have to go ahead and um, put it on a jack, take it off and bring it to the find a ride to uh, the tire shop so that they can go ahead and change my tire and then I come home and put it back on. So, but we about to go home. Missy has to study for her review. Y'all see her lipstick? Yeah. If you want lipstick for free, you can get it. But come down low. If you want to get it, you get it from my grandma's house. She has a lot of lipstick. If you want to pick your, your favorite color like me, it's okay to my grandma if she says yes. That girl said, comment below if you want a free lipstick. Okay, she might be speaking something in the near future, y'all. But let's go ahead and get to the house and then... Study, eat, shower, and then house shuts down at 8 p.m. Uh, yes, y'all. My house shut down at 8 p.m. And that, I'm watching the TV. That means no noise. The TV could be on very lightly. And Missy has to be knocked out sleep by 9 o'clock or 9.30, the latest. Mommy, I am not Missy. Okay. All right, so I'll see y'all when we get home, y'all. Say All right.
All right, y'all. So uh, we are done for today. Okay, I ran out of hangers. So yeah, and supporting my sisters. Follow them. Um, if you follow me on social media, then you will see it. I did share it. It's a candid conversation, real conversation. You don't have to be strong enough. Um, today started off very beautiful, very encouraging, very uplifting. And then the enemy tried it, y'all. The enemy tried it, <clears throat> but we continue to press because we serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. So we, what did we do today? We went to the bank. We handled um, our business um, checking. We went to the avocat, AKA the lawyer. Um, well, in English, the lawyer. After the lawyer, we did get some Haitian patties. Then I went ahead, um, did the van. Um, after the van, y'all see, flat tire. Uh, but it's all good. Got baby girl, came home. Now we about to shut it down. But listen, I need you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button. All right, hit that bell. Make sure you thumbs up, baby. Make sure you thumbs up. But I love y'all. See y'all next video. And remember, you have victory on every side. Yeah.